Paul, a uh, 4-0 win over Eastleigh today to extend their unbeaten run to eight games at the start of the season. What's your immediate reaction to that performance today? Yeah, clearly very pleased. I um, thought first half we weren't our best, but we were really solid, a good professional performance. And then second half, I, I felt we ran out uh, worthy winners in the game. Um, like I said, the all the games are tough in this league, we all know that. But we're playing well at the minute, and we're doing all the right things. We're doing the, the basics well, and we're managing the, to put the ball in the back of the net as, as we did today. So it was two goals each for Jack Muldoon and, and Mark, Beck, Mark Beck from the bench. Must be pleasing to have so many attacking options throughout the squad. Yeah, we have got good options up front. Yeah, Nolsey and Mullers, as they come on, puts another good shift in, and, and Becky. And we've got good options in, in the way we can go about things, whether it be going a little bit longer or, or looking to play, getting them behind. So we've got a good blend there. But like I said, it's it again difficult. But at the minute, it seems to be clicking, and the lads coming off the bench and the squad in general really put a shift in it, and everyone's chipping in. So that result today takes us up to 16 goals for the season, top scorers in the league and four clean sheets from the opening 10 games. Are you surprised by the start to the season? Um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit surprised because we've got off to a really, really positive and, and good start. We um, just wanted to go on from where we finished last year and obviously that was that was scoring goals but equally as important to keep clean sheets and like you said we've, we've done that really well so far. And, Managing to get four in here at home, we, we want to try and make this place a four just now. It's easy to say that, it's, it's more difficult to actually make it happen, but today was a really good, solid performance in what's going to be a long season. So injuries to Josh Falkenham and Jack Emmett meant uh, Lloyd Kerry and Liam Agnew came into central midfield. What did you make of their contributions to I that? thought they were absolutely terrific, outstanding. And credit to them. They've had to be patient, um, waited all season. and. I know you're only eight games in and you might not think that's a long time but, but, but it is for lads who are chomping at the bit to get on the grass and it's a credit to them and how they've for themselves and how fit they were, they come in and they look like they, they, they covered every blade of grass and they look like they haven't missed a minute, so credit to them for the magnificent. So fans may have seen a cameo from new loan signing Levi Sutton at the end, uh, midfielder, what can they expect from him in his month here? Yeah, neat and tidy midfield player, again likes to, likes to get the ball down and play and a little bit of bite and aggression to win the tackle and that's what we're looking for. I mean, we all know it's a blow to miss Fox and Jack from the squad, but as I've just said there, Aggers and, um, and Lloyd were magnificent and that's just a bit of strength and depth that we're going to need. So next up is the trip to Gateshead on Tuesday night, another tough game. What do you expect from them? That's what I said, yeah, another tough game. Uh, I think they've won again today, 1-0, and they've got off to a fabulous start as well. So. Yeah, it's, it's the usual stuff, but every game is tough and unless you bang at it and doing the stuff you're good at, you're not, you're not going to be in games, but thankfully the lads have, have took on board what we've asked them to do and it's, it's so far so good, but so it's a long way to go and, and hopefully this is, well, it is the end of the thick and fast games on Tuesday night and we'll take a bit of a, a pause and a breather and, and assess where we are. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.